Hi, I'm Ollie Couch. This video is about the quality and the purpose of hazers. We're going to cover the cost, the quality, the application, the control, the power, and how the two different quality of hazers compare with each other. We have here two different sorts of hazers. This is a Gen K1 hazer used in bigger and more professional theatres. This is a Source Aqua Haze Junior which is more of a DJ style hazer. The Gen K1 hazer retails about £900 and the fluid costs £100 for 10 litres. This hazer costs £100 and you can pick up the fluid for £20 for 5 litres. Therefore this is a more cost effective hazer but this is a much better quality hazer. Lots of people ask how do hazers differ from smoke machines? Now hazers have fans in them and the whole idea is to blow a very light stream of haze so you can see the beams of the lights without obscuring the actors or artists on stage. One way of telling the difference between quality of hazers is that this one is a continuous output hazer which means it can run all day whereas this hazer has to stop and reheat every 10 minutes of use. More professional hazers, like the K1, features a PowerCon input as well as 3 and 5 pin DMX 512. Cheaper hazers, like the Source Aqua Haze, features an IEC input as well as a 5 pin connector for an external remote control. When it is set to a low output, it's hard to see the haze at all. It creates a fine mist in front of the light, enabling you to see the beam. Here you can see a cloud of haze interfering with the beam of light as well as obstructing your vision beyond the beam. There are several things to think about when choosing your hazer. Does your hazer need a variable output? This will save on fluid and limit the amount of haze in the space as well as reducing noise. Cleaning. Some more expensive hazers like the K1 clean themselves on the shutdown procedure. This, this prevents them from clogging which is an issue in itself with cheaper hazers. Are you limited for power? Like the K1 it has a very effective heat exchanger only drawing 600 watts and the Aqua Haze draws 800 watts. If you need a better hang time a more expensive haze fluid is, is recommended as designed to stay in the air for longer and be much finer in front of the lights. And does your hazer need a screen? This will help with options such as setting the DMX address using an eco mode which saves on haze fluid and a silent mode especially for your theatre applications where a silence is necessary. This is a good example of difference in haze quality. You can see how the different haze fluids compare with each other.